Hey guys, this is your boy Dino aka DRP and welcome back to another video to my channel. I always have this problem. Yeah, it's, it seems perfect. It, it, it doesn't matter. It, it looks good. It looks good. Uh, how are you guys doing? I know I didn't do any videos today. Um, not today. What am I about? It's today. I didn't do any videos yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about that. Um, I will do videos today as, as you can tell. Um, uh, there's uh, certain stuff that's on my mind due to the specific date today, uh, so please don't mind me if I'm not as energetic or as hyped as I normally would be. Just got some stuff in mind, uh, and it's only because of the specific day today. So <laughs> please, um, you know, forgive me for that. Um, but today, uh, we'll be checking out the newest death battle, which <laughs> I can't even talk today. It's the 150th episode, I believe. Um, from what people told me, I think it's one of those. Um, it's one of those um, filler death battles. It's not like a proper one. It's one of those filler death battles. Um, they wanted to do it for a long time or something. Macho Man versus Kool Aid Man. I, I mean, I looked at these characters and I'm like. This doesn't look like it's one of those death battles where it's not serious. It's kind of like, what death battle was it that I watched? I think it was Deadpool versus My Little Pony. I th something like that. They done they done something like that in the past, and it wasn't like it was. It was just this weird death battle. Um, it's one of the. I I think it's one of those. I might be wrong for all I know because it's only fourteen minutes as well. Because normally a death battle would go from you know varies between twenty to twenty five minutes, right? You know, of them putting the research in the first half and then the battle in the second half and then a little bit of a why they won at the end with the preview of the next death battle. This one seems much shorter, so I'm assuming it's one of those death battles where it's just not serious. It's just a fun episode, you could say. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but we'll check it out right now. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get right to it. If anything... If this is one of those death battles, I'm still going to be reacting to it, as you can tell right now. Why? Because I want to know what the, what the next death battle is. That's literally the only reason why. If, if this turns out to be one of those episodes that's just not serious and it's just full of laughs, I guess. I'm up for that. I'm, for, I'm all up for that, as you can tell. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right to it. Um, yeah, if I look weird, it's probably because I've trimmed most of my hair <laughs> so, like obviously that i had a haircut as well it's not too bad i did trim a lot of my beard and there's you can tell <laughs> um I, I was gonna go on a verge of a caveman <laughs> so i had to get rid of it um yeah let's get right to it shall we uh, uh if you guys want to go ahead and grab something to eat or drink as usual uh you can go ahead and pause the video if not that's fine because I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this reaction. Uh, let's go, shall we? Uh, stop recording, fine. PC screens fine. Volume's doing okay. Uh, desktop audio's enabled. That's 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 what we need most. Um, yeah, let's get right to it, shall we? And three, and three, two, one, go. Wait, okay, wait, 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 when did this video come out? It's already got 9 million views? No, shut up, there's no way. Okay, I was gonna say, what the heck was that number right there? It premiered 21 hours ago, 360. I don't even know where that number came from, I was like, get out of it, it hasn't even been a full day yet. <laughs> so, let's get into this in 3, 2, 1, go. Officially fall, so let's talk about a different kind of fall, the fall of man. No, not that Adam and Eve. We're talking about the upscale adult boutique. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. If you head over to adamandeve.com and use the code BATTLE, you Alright, let's go. He's whiz and I'm boom. Ten years of death battle, guys. It's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Hey, it's Marshall. <laughs> Boomstick butt, you'll never believe this. I found your dad. Huh? <laughs> Death by 150th episode, okay? <laughs> I found your dad. Okay, I think your dad's around here somewhere. I got a tip from a guy. Uh, Wait, isn't he the guy who does, um, who comes as a host in DBX? 
Or is that the name now? I can't uh, remember. He's wearing red. Wait, his dad or your guy? Ah, oh, who cares? Boosie <laughs> doesn't need this. Oh, yeah! What you need is to snap into a Slim Jim. Macho Man Randy Savage? <laughs> Dad? Oh, God. What? That's... No, Randy Savage never had any children. Hey, he was a wrestler. Was, he had a dynamite career in the wrestling ring, and that can bring oh, in yeah. all the ladies. My mom definitely <laughs> he was amazing. Oh, the macho man is the cream, and the more is rising <laughs> to the top. Uh, well, for those unaware, <laughs> Randy Papo burst into the wrestling scene in 1973 as Randy Savage, yep. the macho man. In just a decade. Yeah, he used to feed people like Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, as you can tell from uh, these he information. He uh... into the World Wrestling Federation and won a heavyweight championship. Macho mm. man, more like Macho King. He bench pressed <laughs> over 300 pounds and ripped himself out of a straight jacket. He's won 70% <laughs> of all his televised matches thanks to his super move, the elbow drop. Elbow Except drop. when he's using that same elbow drop to, no joke, bring people back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, <when> <laughs> <was down> <laughs> it's one of the you know Sega de Sancho versus uh, Chuck Norris is gonna be one of those death battles and I have really enjoyed that battle. Death battle. That death battle is probably one of my favorite death battles. I had a, such a blast watching it. I smacked him back in a full fighting condition. That's just the power an intercontinental heavyweight champ like me brings to the ring. <laughs> And he's kicked butt outside the ring too. He's oh yeah, Spider-Man and even Chuck Norris. Oh, right. there you go. He fought the guy who's push up, push the Earth down. <laughs> no wonder he was powerful enough to destroy entire planets as the intergalactic <laughs> oh, tyrant. God. What the Lord. hell? That seems a bit out of character. You know I'm thirsty to win, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did someone say thirsty? Oh God. Oh no. Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please okay. listen closely. This sucralose abomination with no respect for solid structures is more than just a five cent mascot. <laughs> Damn right! He's a friggin' superhero! Once upon a time, he was just a simple pitcher with a smiley face. But then, the thirsties attacked, threatening the delicate balance between hydration and drought, achieving intelligence and mobility unheard of for glassware. Only the Kool-Aid Man possesses the power, the skill, and the sheer liquid magnitude to battle this alien force. Fuck. The Kool Aid Man fights to save the world from thirst itself. Okay. This is real. Cool. Standing this six is real. tall and weighing 11 <laughs> Defeating terrorists. <laughs> Are you serious, man? Come on. <laughs> Destroy the summon with a surfboard. <laughs> cool enough to cool off. A volcano. Wow. <laughs> what are these, fam? I finally solved the worldwide thirst crisis. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. He never lets a foe get away, even braving time travel and outer space. What? In a vacuum, he's golden. Just like that golden nectar flavor, right? You remember that? Just looked like a bucket of piss. So it's safe to say the Kool Aid <laughs> Man is surprisingly powerful. He's super strong and can seemingly break through any wall. Be it wood, brick, steel, concrete, or even spaceship holes. Wow. Yet his true power is far more esoteric. Okay. Teleport himself and others in an instant, enlarge to kaiju proportions, and summon walls out of thin air. Shut up. Let's ask the real question. Okay, it means to all manners of thirst, okay. Says no to all walls. <laughs> Size and density alteration, okay. Tele... <laughs> Okay, control over cool wave. Teleportation and dimensional <laughs> dimensional control. Time reversal. Is the Kool-Aid man the glass pitcher or the juice inside? Like where is his soul? Well, we have seen him exist solely as a pitcher before adding Kool-Aid mix, but officially he's both. Which is important as he can always summon more Kool-Aid. That's cool, I guess, but why would he even need more? Because the Kool-Aid Man is an unexplainable, high-fructose corn syrup eldritch deity that possesses complete omnipotent control over deity. all things Kool-Aid. 
He oh, can control God. it telekinetically, use it to create portals to his own Kool-Aid dimension, launch himself or others fast enough to spin the moon, and even manipulate matter. Such as <laughs> twisted these mountains into Kool-Aid. Which is how many tons of TNT or whatever? What? You're the math guy. Math it up. There you go. Not at the yeah. lab. The only one there is uh, the IT girl. Oh? <gasps> what? Crossland. Oh. Huh. I need you to calc this mountain. On it. Right. Let's not ask me. The actual <laughs> living computer. Done. Hi. <laughs> Based on their shape, these appear to be strato volcanoes. Okay. To manipulate each to twist at one revolution per two tenths of a second, the Kool Aid Man would have to be exerting energy equivalent to 497 sextillion joules. For a little perspective, that's only about five times less than the energy output every second by the sun. Which he broke, by the way. <laughs> oh. Okay, but when Macho Dad snaps the Slim Jim, he also gets crazy world shattering powers. Like, he can teleport, shape shift, and manipulate reality. He can control electricity, smash through any wall, rip your hair off with wind power, <laughs> tornadoes, lightning, even a stampede of raging bulls. God, he's so manly. I didn't exactly expect this? these. Uh, Sodium flesh sticks to contain such potent. God, oh, this is jokes. However, they work. He's eaten so many Slim Jims. He's maintained some of their power permanently. As Raslor, he defeated the superhero Major Glory with a single punch. Who could run 500 laps around the world in two seconds? That would require speeds over 33 times faster than light. If these two were to fight each other, it would be wild. <laughs> but first, if you want the confidence of the world's most awesome wrestler <laughs> and a sentient fruit drink, uh, check out Blue Chew. Let's okay. Okay, considering um, considering we um, the last death bar I saw this was that was like a sort of a funny like one of those filler funny episodes. It was um, the Deadpool one with My Little Pony character. I can't remember, but I do remember the Sega Plus Ultra and Chuck Norris one, right? It ended up with a draw. <laughs> it ended up as a draw uh, because they were both so fucking ridiculous. They they destroyed um, they destroyed the whole solar system, created a black hole. <laughs> and they they just cease to exist right or just fighting in another dimension i don't know um so it, it, it went it came as a draw like it was a draw so i'm assuming when it comes to episodes like this i feel like it's going to be a draw in general so i feel i'm just going to call it i'm just going to say it's going to be a draw both of them sound stupidly busted doing weird shit man <laughs> but um yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't know whether they can even choose a side to win uh, through research. I, I just don't. I think they're just gonna choose the safe option and be like, "Yeah, it's a draw. Like, why not?" You buy <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The key to success in life and in one of our death battles is confidence. Confidence can take you ever a death battle. <laughs> oh boy, let's check this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah! This looks surprisingly good as well, like the art animation. It looks surprisingly good. Damn! Time reversal. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> The elbow, fine. <laughs> the elbow. <laughs> Did you know Kool-Aid Man's liquids can raise plants and heal the dead? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, shut Macho up. Dad can turn into a freaking dragon. Isn't that just a Skyrim mod? Not that big of a stretch. He can turn his fingers into snakes. Oh, no, snakes. <laughs> right. You're just jealous of how awesome my dad is. He's not. <sighs> Look, Kool-Aid Man is like nothing he's ever fought. That sugary monster once turned the entire world into Kool-Aid. <laughs> world domination. Got this. Oh yeah. Oh, forget it. <laughs> exactly. Damn. Oh snap. Get out of it, they're going to their own dimension. Oh, that's so sick! How they did this! That is so good! How did they do <laughs> How did they do this? That is so cool! <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Wait, Macho Man won! Oh no. <laughs> what the? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> what is this funny? What is this funny? I hate your daddy, kid. Yeah. Bleh. Wait a sec. If he's not your dad, but your dad is here and in red, then that can only mean Kool Aid. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh huh. my god. That was different. <coughs> Macho Man's skill set was beyond expectation. But, well, the Kool Aid Man could destroy the sun. I, was, okay, I, thought, I thought it was just. They, they were both so ridiculous. I thought they were just going to do a draw. But I guess Kool Aid Man won and beat Macho Man. I mean, yeah, they, it did say that Kool Aid Man fucking destroyed the sun with a surfboard. And even Rassler's theoretical planetary feet. If you want to count those, these rules change all the time anyway. I don't tell if you're being sarcastic. Good. Macho Man was faster, being over 30 times light speed. Even the Kool-Aid launch to the moon was only a fraction faster than light. But Randy oh. could not be savage enough to hurt him. Kool-Aid Man possesses full nice. control over all Kool-Aid. It was important to confirm that his existence is both of the pitcher and the liquid inside. True. As that True. means so long as Kool-Aid exists nearby, the Kool-Aid Man has life. And thanks to his magic, he could always summon more. I suppose Macho Man didn't have the thirst to win. <sighs> was that a joke? Do you have an off switch? <laughs> yes. Anyway, the winner is the Kool-Aid Man. Okay, I was wrong. I was heavily wrong. <laughs> I'm the spawn of sugar and food coloring. Okay, I found your tip guy. It's Deadpool. Of course, they had to bring what Deadpool back. Hey, I'm wearing red, just like I promised. You wouldn't have come if you knew it was me, right? After all, I'm only the second most famous Vancouver Deadpool. Damn that <laughs> Um, okay, where's his dad? Oh, no idea. But my man Macho knows, so you can just ask. Uh... Yeah, he's done. <laughs> oh, he can revive him! I totally forgot he can revive him! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Anytime next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> Are you serious? Same time next week. Yeah. <laughs> My father. Oh boy, what? <laughs> okay, who's this? Who's this father? I want to know now. I'm, 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 I'm tempted. I, I need to know. What the fuck? Shit. Thought it was them goddamn squirrels. Is that you, Bobby? Mama? Huh? I, I thought Dad was here. So did I, Junebug. So did I. But I reckon I learned something. You can't worry much about what you hope for, because then you might miss the way things turn out. Like how you got a couple of real good friends here helping you. I guess you can't always get what you want. But you just might find what you need. Huh. Thanks, Mama. Now get off my lawn, boy! Those goddamn squirrels ain't gonna hunt themselves! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. Oh, Wait fuck up. That boy sounds familiar. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Much of mine and cooling. <laughs> oh my lord. This is funny. This you know what? I had fun. I had fun. Okay, this is this is done really well. I did enjoy this. This is funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Who's next though? I hope they show who next is. Come on, it has to be good. Get me get me hooked in, Death Battle. Come on. Mr. Team, get me get me hooked in. Death Battle for ten years. If you want, we have Ooh, a celebratory ten years. To pick up right there at the Rooster Teeth store. Alright. Who's next? Oh sh what? 
I, I had a feeling it was Dio. I had a feeling. I saw his face and I'm like, I remember this guy somewhere. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Dio from Jojo, uh, Jojo series. And I look hard. I don't know. What the fuck? Alucard is a vampire. Is that this this the same person I'm checking out? Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay, I can see this being a good match. I can see this being a good match. I only saw I think I saw um I saw Dio during um before Death Battle uh did DBX, they did something called um This, this the battle royale that only lasts for one minute, right? And Dio went up against this little girl, and that little girl fucked him over. <laughs> like, <laughs> so uh, I remember that watching that. I was like, "Damn, Dio got fucked." <laughs> so, um, okay, so we're gonna get Dio into. Uh, I think. Uh, okay, okay, I, I'm ex okay, okay. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I have not watched the JoJo series though. Never, never watched the JoJo series. Uh, but I am well aware of the memes <laughs> that follows the series. Um, okay, this this was it. Like I said, this was a funny death battle to watch. I genuinely thought they were going to do a draw. I genuinely did. Um, but it turns out Kool-Aid Man won. Well, guess what? You could use his Kool-Aid to revive people from the dead. So, revives Macho Man. Macho's like, same time next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll say, what the hell kind of ending is this, fam? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, this this was good. This was good. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, this was funny. This was funny. I feel I feel slightly better thanks to this death battle video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you guys did enjoy today's video, should be sure to smash the like button, comment, and share. All those good things and see more content on me doing more uh, death battle reactions like this in the future. Uh, however, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Join the DRP Guild today so you won't miss a single video from my channel. Where there's reactions to Ruby, reactions to Jujutsu Kaisen, reactions to Hollow Life, reactions to more Death Battles, any other reaction videos, main content series you get to see on this channel. So be sure to come in, subscribe, and join the journey. Uh, so, as always, this is your boy Dina signing out. Have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, until then, peace.